So this video is demonstrating the anterior and posterior pelvic tilt weight shifts. So in standing, so I'm going to tuck the shirt in here so we can get a good sense of where the pelvis would be. So if we look at where the waistband is, that would be a general idea of where my pelvis is. So for an anterior tilt, I'm just going to see that lumbar spine arch. I'm going to think about the front of the waistband is going to tip down and forward relative to the back here, which is going to be up a little bit higher. And then a posterior tilt, the front of the waistband is going to come up and into me while the back of the waistband is going to tuck down. All right, so we go back and forth. All right, and the ability to do that fluidly uh, is a very valuable thing to be able to do. All right, so we might start by holding the posture a little bit and see what muscles you engage. So when you're in the posterior tilt and you're in standing, we want to feel like the hamstrings down lower are engaged because that would be what would be pulling the sit bones down. You can also have a little bit of tension in the abdomen, but really the less the better because that means you can just go with the posture here and you don't have to really brace to pull down. And then when you go into an anterior tilt, you might feel the lumbar erectors get a little bit of tightness. You can pull up through the front of the pelvic floor, which can help enhance that posture a little bit. And the belly might push out. Okay, and sitting be the same idea, but now we have contact with the sit bones. So what we're going to feel is when we go into an anterior tilt, we'll still have that tension in the lower back, but we're feeling ourselves move to the front of the sit bones. And then when we go into the posterior tilt, we're going to feel ourselves move to the back of the sit bones. We can actually dig in to the heels to have the hamstrings uh, help that process of going back and forth. All right, so we might go slow at first just so we can get a better sense of the movements. And then eventually it can become a nice little fluid back and forth. So it becomes a nice fidget while we're sitting.